I'm still a handsome devil. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Could it be that my dear wife Catherine has given birth? Oh, she has. Please be a boy. Please be a boy. Please be a boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why has God forsaken me with only lady babies? No. I must have a male heir. A queen on the English throne would be disastrous. I mean, girls are too silly to rule countries. It's all my wife's fault. I'm going to divorce her. No, worse. I'm going to drop her from my top eight on Yibo, and then I'm going to divorce her. <laughs> yes, see how she likes that. There we go. Take that. Oh, no. Let's put the King of France in my top eight. And he's an idiot. Right. I'm going to have to completely rearrange my friends list now. The Pope. What does he want? Ah, oh, Your Holiness. Hello to you. Uh, I thought you were languishing in a rat-infested Spanish dungeon. <laughs> I am, but it has uh, excellent Wi-Fi coverage. Uh, Henry, is it true? You dropped the Queen from your top eight on Yibo? Yes, it's true. She bore me the wrong kind of baby. I specifically asked for a boy. Hmm. So I'd like to divorce her, if that's OK with you. What? No! No, absolutely not! Well, it's too late. I'm looking on TudorBrides.com as we speak. But Henry, uh, now listen to me. Go. Here's one. Anne Boleyn, Protestant lady, seeks rich, ennobled husband for good times and lots of male heirs, likes beards. Well, I must marry her right away. <laughs> Henry, the Catholic Church unremittingly refuses your request for a divorce. Oh, really? Well, I'm just going to set up my own church if we're going to be like that. What are you talking about? You can't set up your own church. You need scriptures and a dogma. <laughs> that is... <sighs> So, 1529. You can do it all online now. Uh, yep, there we go. <laughs> yeah. right. Church of Henry? Yes, that too. Oh, it's gone. No. Henry, I implore you. Please, think of, the, think of the implications, the damage it will cause, Henry. Church of England? Yep, that'll do. <laughs> Henry, please, listen to me. I'm the Pope! Henry! Henry! Sorry, Your Holiness. I've got to go. Email just popped in. It might be from Anne Boleyn. Uh, see you later. Uh, uh, what does this idiot want? King of France, indeed. Is it... Oh, he sent me a virus. Very clever. Well done. Uh, idiot. Mark Antony has accepted me as a friend on Mummy, though. Excellent. Thanks for the ad. Smiley hieroglyphic. <gasps> it's him! Hail Queen Cleopatra! Hail yourself! <laughs> yeah, I was just looking at your mummy bow profile and I couldn't help but notice you haven't got many friends. Yeah, well, I did have my sister, Pharaoh Cleopatra VI, but she died in suspicious circumstances. And my other sister, Pharaoh Berenice IV, but. She was executed. Then there were my half-brothers, Pharaoh Ptolemy the 13th, drowned, and Pharaoh Ptolemy the 14th, poisoned. Sounds like being on the throne in Egypt is a pretty dangerous job, Cleo. Do you never get scared? <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'll be fine. I just need a powerful Roman to stand alongside me. Oh, what, like Caesar? Didn't you date him? Yeah. <laughs> now he's dead? Yeah. Uh, about that. There's now a vacancy, so do you want to go out with me? No. Oh, please, 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 please. I'll put you on my top ten friends list. OK. In for a denarius, in for a sestertius. <laughs> More like a top two friends list. Who's this other one? Oh, uh, yeah, that's my sister, Arsenault. At last. A member of your family who isn't dead. Mm. About that. Cleo. Yeah, the thing is, she's the last threat to my throne, so I need to have Arsenal killed. You don't mind if I put your name on the assassination warrant, do you? Um... Please, 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 please. Oh, OK. There we 
There we go. Nasty business, but had to be done. Now you and me can rule the Egyptian Empire in peace. Right, great. Oh, oh, what was that noise? Did something go wrong? Oh, uh, yeah, it says there's a problem with the transaction. I probably just need to update my Papyrus Pal account. Oh. What? What is it? Yeah. Turns out Arsenault was on the steps of a sacred temple when you murdered her. When I murdered her? Rome is up in arms. We're in big trouble. What are we going to do? Well, if we want to die with dignity, we'll have to kill ourselves before the Roman army get to us. What? Oh, this is most inconvenient. Oh, well, I suppose... No, 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 wait. I, I suppose we could pretend to kill ourselves and then just hide. Oh, oh, now you tell me, Cleo. You are literally the worst girlfriend I've ever had. And I've had some shockers. Uh... Right. Looks like I'll have to do the same then. Uh, oh, I'll get a poisonous snake to bite me. I mean, that's quite a regal way to go. An asp? Perfect. <laughs> How much? 20 bronze coins for packaging. I suppose it is quite a long tube. Hmm. Oh, what's this? A business proposition. Dearest friend, I have a legitimate and trustworthy business proposition for you. Please send 22,000 gold coins and in return we Vikings won't be paying you a visit. Yours very trustworthily, Olaf Trigbason. Better give him a call. Come on, come on. Must be out pillaging. Ah, Olaf, me old Viking mucker. Ethelred, my little Saxon chum. Just got your email. Yes, an unmissable offer. I'm sure you'll agree. It's that old Dane girl thing again. Just cough up 22,000 gold coins and us Vikings will leave you alone. I accept. Pay up, pal. Yeah. 22,000? <laughs> Little bit expensive. Fair enough. We'll just do it the nasty way. I prefer that anyway. Do you know London at all? London? Cos I'm gonna smash it up! Well, don't do that. Um, haven't I already paid you, Vikings? Give me one second, Olaf. I'm just... Yes, there it is. 10,991 AD. I've already paid. I'll do you a deal. 50% off. Well, that's something. Meaning I will cut you in half if you don't pay up! OK, OK, I'll wire you the cash now. But listen, Olaf, I can't keep paying you not to attack England all the time. This has to be the last one, all right? Absolutely. Viking's honour. Thank you. There, done. That is the last I'm going to be hearing from those Vikings. Just check my Norse book account, see if I've got any messages. What? Another Viking asking for money. Svein! Hello! Yeah, hi. What is this gold request on my Norse book wall? I've literally just paid Olaf Trigbason. So what? Have you never heard the old saying, just because you give a horse a piece of cake doesn't mean to say the goat is no longer hungry, huh? No. Ah, must just be Danish. <laughs> Pay up. I'm not paying. I'm not paying you and I don't care. There. Showed him. Oh, was it 24,000? Mm. That's a bargain at twice the price. Mm. Just... Yeah, might just buy some new trousers while I'm online. Good idea. Do you think the stripy ones or...? No, the brown ones. Oh, that's ticking in a bit now. Oh, another smallpox scar. Just what I need when I'm looking for a suitor. Oh, Cecil, my loyal advisor. What does he want? Your Majesty, I bring tragic news. You should check your emails. Amy Dudley, wife of Robert Dudley, has been found dead at the bottom of her stairs. Oh, oh, oh that is absolutely... Oh, awful. Awful news. This isn't anything to do with Your Majesty, is it? It's just I know that you are rather fond of Robert. I don't know what you are talking about, Cecil. Just as well. 
Dudley is not good enough for your majesty. If the Tudor line is to continue, your majesty is simply going to have to keep looking for a husband. Oh, you're right, Cecil, as usual. Right, let's see if there have been any views of my online dating profile. I have rejected a few, haven't I? Indeed, ma'am. He got mail. Oh, oh, yippee! <laughs> I've got to go, Seth. Lots of love. Dear, no. Your Majesty, did you get my email? I've built you a garden at Kenilworth. Yes, Robert, I, I love it. It's perfect. I'm so pleased. Although, it is a little far to the left. Could you move it over a bit? Uh, you want me to move the entire garden? Ah, I only want you to move it by a few feet. I'm hardly being unreasonable. Of course not. Hmm. It's such a shame Cecil says I can't marry Robert. He's such a sweetie. Right, who have we got? No, no, too French. Sir Francis Drake. Oh, no, 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 that goatee. Police. It's so 1558. It must be somebody. Oh, Walter Raleigh. Walter! Your Majesty, I do hope I'm not disturbing you. No, I always have time for an eligible bachelor, such as your handsome self. <laughs> well, funny you should say that, because I was just calling to inform Your Majesty of my intentions to marry Bess Throckmorton. What? Sling your hook, you're blocking my line. Maybe Dudley will just have to do this. What? Again? To who? Let his... Nollies! Ugh! What on earth would have led Robert to develop a taste for lettuce? <laughs> Any luck securing the Tudor lineage, Your Majesty? No, Cecil, and I'm just about ready to give up. Hang on. Robert Devereux. Aha! I might have spoken too soon. The Earl of Essex. And he's just emailed me. <laughs> oh, that's excellent news. <laughs> Wait a minute. This email is about a rebellion. He's planning to overthrow me, Cecil. And the fool has cc'd me in by accident. Off with his head. Let's not be too hasty. You must find a husband or the Tudor lineage is finished. The truth is, I am already married. Really, Your Majesty? To whom? To England. Well said, ma'am. And with that, I bid you adieu. <clears throat> Yeah, she's really lost it. I'm still here, Cecil. Um, what I meant was, um... Just check my email, see if anyone likes me. Nothing. It's unbelievable. I'm the king's brother. I mean, you think they just asked me to attend, like, a, a, I don't know, a charity banquet or something. It's not fair. I mean, it's not as if my brother's even here most of the time. He's too busy with his crusades. Oh, it's Mum. What does she want? Hi, Mum! John, my petit corchette. I have terrible news. <laughs> Richard, he is dead. Splendid! <laughs> what? I mean, oh, no. That is awful news. I am... Do you know what? I can't even pretend. It's brilliant news. Now I get a proper chance to be king. Laters, Mama. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Right, first things first, let's just change my username on my toddler account. There you go. I might check my app replies while I'm here. Seems to be a lot of ill feeling about my Irish prince's joke. What's thicker and smells worse than an Irish prince's beard? An Irish prince. I don't know what they're complaining about. Oh, what's this? Duke Arthur. Oh, that's no good. Can't have a pretender to my throne. I shall block him. Do you know what? Thinking about it, maybe I need something a bit stronger. Let's do this then, shall we? There. <laughs> uh, oh no, I'm losing followers. The French don't seem too happy with me. I suppose people do get a bit touchy when you assassinate their allies, don't they? Better he's off the twaddler for a bit. What other things do kings do? I know. I'll appoint a new archbishop. Let's have a look here. There you go. That's how I rule with strong knee-jerk decisions. All right. Oh, message from the Pope. 
Oh no. That is a lot of capital letters. He is not a happy man. Either that or he doesn't understand email etiquette. Bishop Jocelyn! How you doing, my lady? Looking ravishing as ever? Your Royal Highness, I keep telling you, I'm a man! Oh, sorry. It's the name. I keep getting confused. So, uh, what was it you wanted, darling? I mean, mate. The Welsh are rebelling against you, and they have the support of the Pope. Any idea why that might be? Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> Gotta go! Busy man. Oh! First the Irish, then the French, now the Pope and the Welsh! Let's see what they're saying on Twaddler. Oh, that's just mean! That's it. I'm gonna give them something to complain about. I am raising their taxes. I could do with a bit of cash for the army. All these rebellions and everything. Oh, it's the Barons! Gentlemen, what do you think of my premiership so far then, eh? Rubbish. Oh, come on, gents. It's not been boring. You can at least give me that. We've thrown up a document, the Magna Carta. We strongly advise you to sign it. But... Jocelyn's emailing at you now. Her too? Him too. I'm sorry, but you've left us with no choice. There. Sent. Whatever. It keeps you happy. Terms and conditions. No one reads those, do they? Guys, what is this thing anyway? It limits your powers as king. Means we're on the show now. Cancel, cancel! And I'm awfully sorry, but we've sent Prince Louis of France a Macebook invite to invade. An invasion? Now, what would a truly great king do in this situation? East Anglia looks nice this time of year. I'm gonna make a run for it. Back from Munich. Very nice currywurst. Oh, and good meeting with Hitler. I think it's peace for our time. Just send that. Oh, responses already. Well done. Wonderful news. Ah, Winston Churchill. Bet he wants to congratulate me as well. Have you taken leave of your senses? Hello. I think you'll find I've just averted another world war. Hitler has signed this piece of paper, saying that if we let him have the Sudetenland, he promises not to expand into any other countries. You can't trust Adolf Hitler. He's already forced Austria to unify with Germany. Plus, he has a ridiculous moustache. Hitler says no one wants another world war, not even Germany. I mean, they lost the first one. It's not as if it's best of three, is it? Appeasement is the right choice. War is the right choice. Hitler is planning an invasion. Mark my words. Whatever. Oh, what's this? An invasion advisor review of Czechoslovakia by A. Hitler 33. Slightly worrying. Delighted we chose to invade this beautiful and politically unstable country. Definitely worth invading if you're in the area. Oh, no need to panic, Neville. A lot of these invasion advisor reviews are fake. Still, better just check who's on our side, just in case. Good, All right, good. What? Nazi Germany has allied itself with fascist Italy? Oh, no. Better make some more allies quick. Ah, Poland. Perfect. We'll agree to protect them. And maybe in the future they'll repay us with reasonably priced builders. Oh, not again. D don't say it. Told you so. Look, I'm strengthening our alliances. I've already got Poland. I'm waiting for Russia to, uh... What? We're not getting involved. Oh, dear. What's the problem with that? Well, it means that Germany doesn't have to defend its Russian border. They can throw all of their troops in our direction. What are you doing? Uh, nothing, nothing. Look, Hitler promised. There's no way he's going to... Invade our new ally, Poland. By golly, this fellow's so hard not to declare war against. You were given the choice between war and dishonor. You chose dishonor, and you will have war. I think I preferred I told you so. Yeah. 
Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure, sure? Yes. What you need now is a canny politician, one who was in the war cabinet during the First World War and has the top score on Minesweeper in the Foreign Office. Me? OK, Winston. I'll make you First Lord of the Admiralty. I thought you'd never ask. Budge up. Oh, it's the latest House of Commons opinion poll. Do you still support Chamberlain? Oh, do you want to be Prime Minister then? Yes, please. <clears throat> you still here? <clears throat> and fetch me a cigar. In fact, make it two. Oh, I like it. Might come in useful one day. Your host at Talking Rats. The past is no longer a mystery. Welcome to Horrible Histories.